right so today on a mark 5 golf gt we're doing um basically we're, we're taking the standard stereo out and fitting it with this android one so first thing you want to do is top, remove the top mat as you can see i've got this all out just to show you and then you'll find two screws here uh, the t20 torx remove them two screws this just lifts out you just need to prise it a bit with the straight screwdriver once that's lifted out then this you just need to slowly peel it from the sides and it lifts out once that's lifted up you got two sensors at the back which um, are for the hazards and the airbag passenger airbag <clears throat> uh, what you can do is disconnect them or if you don't want to you can just put it to the side Oops. And then underneath you got this bottom uh, casing that goes around the heater unit and the stereo unit. That's held in by two screws here, T20 again. And then once you open that, once that top unit's lifted and you open, uh, peel this from the sides and uh, open them T20 top screws, this comes off. Once that's come off, then you can see a stereo and it's held in by four screws t20 screws again two two here and two here yeah so when them four screws are out you want to slide this unit forward it just slides forward it might feel like it's getting held on because the wiring looms get stuck to the back once that's out you will see they just one big plug and this, these, these are your radio antenna and stuff so to undo this there's just a clip at the back just push it towards each other and it lifts out and then these just push it in and it slides out same with the other one now as you can see the all standard unit is out here's the new unit so now I've just put the wires in it's not too difficult they just it's plug and play you've got your wiring loom your GPS your stereo uh, antenna and all you do is plug it in but there's one thing uh, there is one wire this wire this wire you want to disconnect it and leave it disconnected because if you don't then your stereo will stay on and kill your battery so even if you take a key out lock your car whatever it will still show that it's on uh, it won't turn off so remember to disconnect that and then it just fits right in as it's made for this car so that was how to f take out a anode unit and to fit it back in you just need to repeat how, how you take it out that's how you put it back in just do what you did to take it out the screws back, go back in make sure it slides in all the wires on nicely and be careful with the clips off for the plastics